Hi guys, now I'm going to show you how to finish look. It's called contour and blush and how to clean it up and how to bronze it, the face, right? First you need three brushes, okay? So first one, what you do, you go into a contour. So you're going to use a contour. Contour means you're going to do a, a, you know, angle brush like this, okay? So it's short and then long, right? You take a darker color, so whatever, like this one is called Sculpting Duo. So shaping Sculpting Duo is great for any skin. So I loves it. I'm using the dark side. Okay, and you know I'm built it up on the brush. Tap it on the finger, right? Right now, right? So I'm, I'm teaching you in the classroom the same thing. You're going to tap a little bit. Now you're going to contour because your makeup done already. So what you do, you're going to contour them. So now this contour is a powder contour, not the cream contour. So you're going to hold in your hand. Remember, for fashionable, when you look at a person who go to school or for fashionable school, you know right away the way they're holding. And you hold your hand like an L shape. You hold this side like that. You pull the side. You hold the face in 45 minutes started here the longer side will be the tip we go in the shorter side is apply the product the longer side is the blending so you're going to go that you can tell the model or a bride or somebody who you're going to do give them a kiss tell them to give you a kiss right there you see the cheekbone right here so your hand holding right there on the cheekbone, the bone right there, right? Then you what you do, you're going to take that brush and go toward to that bone, just like that. So the first tip, it hit the brush, hit your fingertip right there and going down. So you get the darker color and go it like this. So it gives you that beautiful contour color on her cheeks right there. Does that make sense? Okay, so going out, so you can see the contour there. Okay, so in another one, same thing here, you go to this way. Right there, okay. Now, that is called up V, okay. Now you're going under V, you're going to go one here, and then another one here. So this is called soft contour. So you're not going to see like, look like Kim Kardashian. You can see a whole bunch of line. So this is called soft contour. But it's very soft. So it's when they take pictures or, or you can see the face contour very beautiful. But it's not so much. Okay. So it's one V, bottom V. Now it's called a top V. So you go into the top. Just like this. Remember, this is basic contour. Okay. Now you're done with that. Next brush is this, okay, so this brush right here, you're going to contour the nose. You're going to take it from the tip, the nose, going up halfway, and stay there. Don't go farther. Go tip and go here. Leave it there and go to the tip, to the edge, leave it there. Right? Why? Because you're going to turn the brush outside. Because there's a lot of people who do contour and you can see the color all the way to down. And it doesn't look good. So you do the deposit color, half of the new, turn the brush on the clean side. Then you're going to bring that dark color toward to the brush. Then it gives you very blending and it have more room to blending that color. This looks really pretty. Okay? So that is called very then you take a tip of the V small V on the edge of the nose so that right there is called um, dark shade I always like to use dark shade first before I do a light now I'm going to blush okay so I'm using this blush brush okay so you blush right you can pick whatever color you like so I'm gonna pick this called runway from motive so again, I give her a kiss. Again, you hold here, your brush touch your finger, and you're going down. You're going, going down like that. Don't ever do brush like this because you wipe everything off. So you're going to go in down. Okay? So that called blush. You see? Now you're going to have that contour blush. Beautiful on top of that contour. Then you again take that blush. 
you go from here, you go and down. Just like this. Okay, then you're going to take the same brush and blend it where your darker contour earlier. Okay. Okay, put a little bit in her chin and her forehead. Now, you're done with that. Now, your highlight. Use this brush, okay, the blending brush. So use the blending brush again and use the light color. So use the light color again, doesn't matter your light skin or dark skin, use the same compact. So you're using the light color, put right there and give them a little tree. So blend it up here. So you can take that to the her nose and then right there on her. I love this compact because I can use it for any type of skin. So I use under here, here just like that. Look up for me. Thank you. And go in there and highlight underneath the eye. Okay. And right there. Gorgeous. Okay. And under the nose. And the chin. Okay. All right. Now, the last and the least. When you've done that, what you do, you're going to take a little pat. Okay, take here. Okay, you're gonna take a warm kind of red tone because for darker skin, right? And take this. What you do is called buffing. So you're going to use on the end. You guys see that, right? So you're gonna take that and top to the end, and you're going to go like this. The color I'm using is mocha. Okay, for look up for light skin. You're going to go to use more like neutral tone. So photo finish, neutral light. That's what you use for light skin. For dark skin, I am using more mocha tone. So I put in here, you go into that. You guys see, I hope you see it on the, on the video. Okay, are you guys see it here? Okay, good. And then you're going to take that and slip it up. And it warm the face so that way the face doesn't look ashy and it doesn't look light and it go into the camera beautiful. This is called finished touch. So for light skin using more yellow, not pink tone, a yellow light tone like neutral light photo finish. For a darker skin tone use mocha, more like, you like a little mahogany and yellow tone so it give you don't have ash on the skin when the camera touch. When you're done with that, then you're going to take the 10 year younger setting spray. Okay, then what you do, lift her face up like that and spray around it. There you go. And then Take again this puff, okay, put your hand in it, and it call rolling. So you're gonna roll. That's why everybody say with my makeup when I do it lasts longer because you have to pat the skin and make sure the skin is balanced when you do. Have fun, good luck.